Kim, I understand that you were a participant last year in the Keep the Real Grand Brand art event right. at Southport. Can you tell us it, a little bit uh, about that? I, I have done a show for about 15 years over in Westcliff that oh, okay. the, the uh, Conservation the Land Trust does over there. And it had always been such a uh, successful show and for such a good cause that both the artists and the patrons, the people that come to buy the art, it was a win-win situation. And so I kind of mentioned it to Rio that this was a good art show and the more we got to thinking, you don't mention it casually to Rio you know, because the next day she had plans for the art show. So, uh, but it was, uh, it really turned out, I think was just really a great success because I think for the Valley to have that type of a show for that cause, I think that's really important to a lot of us. And uh, for me, it's really special since we did put the ranch in the conservation easement. And I think it's just a, for us, it was a way that the easement, uh, none of our kids, you know, work on the ranch, we lease it out. And so when Tom and I are, are uh, gone, you know, who knows what will happen to the ranch. Yeah. And, and we just really wanted to, to keep it uh, to where it wasn't developed and we keep it as a working ranch. It can always be sold as a cattle ranch, but it can't be developed and have housing and golf courses and things like that put on. Uh, so that's what was really important to us. And I think um, the idea behind this show is to help fund those and, and bring awareness to that. And so I think all the artists and the people that come to that show, it's, it's a great cause. So Yes, I've heard from others that it was yeah. Very successful. It was. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm kind of at a blank. Okay. So this year again, I understand there is a Keep the Real Grand Grand um, art, a premier art event coming up, and it's, you are participating. I am again, and uh, it, it'll be August 15th in South Fork at the Community Center. Uh -huh. And usually it starts about uh, four or five or six and uh, it'll all be posted, I think it is six this year. And uh, people can come, there's wonderful food, there's wonderful art, mm -hmm. and it's just a great time to get together. And then there uh, is art uh, available for purchase, and there'll be some jewelry and things like that. So it's mm -hmm. just, it's really a great event, and it, for a good cause. Yes, it is. And in fact, there are 25, at least 25 well-known valley or regional artists mm -hmm. who are participating. Right. And it's just kind of amazing in this valley that there are so many really fine artists and to be able to get them all together in one evening yeah. is an opportunity for patrons and for That's um, right. conservation minded people mm -hmm. to uh, see all of this work. And That's right. Purchase it's, it it's, a, it's a fun way to support conservation and uh, you know you can you can look at a lot and possibly purchase a lot of good art. In, yeah, in the, it's a wonderful yeah, event that's right. that is coming is. up. Uh, for more information about this event, uh, there is a website that's uh, www.realgrandlandtrust.org. And um, anything else you'd like to say about conservation in general of land or, or more Just, of your appreciation uh, of Really, I think uh, it kind of sums it up as I think we, we have here in the San Luis Valley such a wonderful valley and the Rio Grande running through it. And I think the, the idea of trying to uh, put a lot of the land along the Rio Grande in, in a conservation easement to where it will be kind of locked in and won't be, a lot of it won't be developed, to, to leave a corridor for wildlife to come down and to where we because that, that's why a lot of people move to the San Luis Valley and to be near the mountains to, for the wildlife. And I think it's just so important that we, uh, we keep that you know, front and center all the time and, and work towards that. So. Well, you, you put your, your hands where your heart is, for sure. That's right. <laughs> yeah. With a lot of help from, from a lot of different organizations here. Yes, you know, for Land sure. Trust, right, and uh, uh, Nature Conservancy. Now I understand you also have a, a, a new focus and a new project that you're, 
You're working Maybe. on it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I've always wanted to write a book just not about my art or how-to book or anything like that that just that covers a little bit of everything and so you know what inspires an artist and a sculptor mainly and how you take that inspiration and, and convert it and, into a three-dimensional object and then uh, conservation and everything will be tied in with that so um, I've often said that my English teacher would just really get a good laugh <laughs> she knew I was trying to write a book right but I wasn't the prize student in her class but uh, anyway I, I'm, I'm really enjoying that and have a good time doing that it. it's great you're living the life of that's right that's right <laughs> you're going to share it thank you so much you for bet. taking thank time you. this All was right. wonderful to get to meet you and, and you. we will look forward to August 15th at the South Fork Community Center for Keep the Rio Grande Grand premier art event.